I combined these two AI indicators for better results. Here's the strategy I came up with. Hi traders, today we'll take a closer look at a combination of two AI indicators that complement each other. I've tested it for you with various configurations. By the end of the video, you'll have a complete strategy with the best settings overall. We all know the regular Supertrend indicator, but today I have a better version of it for you. It's called AI Supertrend, Strategy by Present Trading. According to the author, this AI super trend strategy is a unique hybrid approach that employs both traditional technical indicators and machine learning techniques. Unlike standard strategies that rely solely on traditional indicators, mathematical models, this strategy integrates the power of the machine learning model with the trend indicator. What I find the most interesting is that you can adjust the sources this indicator is based on. We have the WMA or weighted moving average here at default setting, and that's what we need for our today's strategy. While the rest will keep at default too, what I don't particularly like about this script is that it gives the signals a bit late. So we'll remove these buy and sell signals by opening the style section and unticking the box that says trades on chart. Unless you're using this indicator solely, which I don't suggest, you shouldn't rely on a backtester too. Instead, we'll enter and exit trades based on another AI indicator called machine learning. Logistic regression by Capissimo. I'll refer to it as MLLR to keep it short. We won't get too deep into the technical explanation for this indicator, as it might appear somewhat complex according to the author's description. You can see in the inputs that, on top of the regular settings, such as price type and period, there are also ones related to AI machine learning. As long as these are doing exactly what they're meant to do, we're good to go. Anyway, the only thing we're going to change here is the period. Let's switch it to a daily to get the most reliable signals while trading on a one hour chart. The 4 hour time frame would also work if you want more trading opportunities, but be aware that you might encounter some extra noise, so it's up to you. You can potentially test this with other time frame combinations. As a general rule, the period on the MLLR indicator should be 4 to 8 times higher than the time frame you're trading on. With all our indicators ready, let's dive into the strategy rules. By the end of this section, I'll also show you how to reduce false signals and enhance your win rate. For a long position, look for a green AI super trend indicator. Enter when the MLLR indicator displays a buy signal but ensure that you wait for a closed candle before entering to avoid false signals. The same rules apply for short positions, but this time you'll be looking for a red ribbon and a sell signal, obviously. Now in this scenario, we're dealing with a lengthy, boring range. If you were to take every trade, you'd likely incur losses. To prevent this, my recommended approach is to only consider an entry after a trend line or key support or resistance break. Once that breakout occurs, it becomes more logical to enter during the subsequent pullbacks. Sometimes you may get an entry signal from MLLR before the super trend indicator aligns in the same direction. It's acceptable to enter as long as the super trend changes color, preferably during the first pullback. Just ensure that the price isn't too far from your stop loss keeping it within your risk tolerance parameters. In addition to the regular 1 to 2 or similar risk reward method, you have other options. You can consider an even higher risk reward ratio if you enter after a trend line break. Alternatively, you can hold the position until the AI super trend indicator changes color from bullish to bearish or vice versa or rely solely on the MLR signals for both entry and exits. The choice will depend on numerous factors, including your trading style, screen time availability, or personal preference. While one trader sets signals and steps away, another may anxiously monitor every candle on the chart. As mentioned earlier, there's no one-size-fits-all approach. This strategy is straightforward and doesn't clutter your chart. When combined with a few additional tools like trend lines, support, and resistance, it provides a comprehensive view of overall market conditions. As always, ensure you conduct thorough backtesting before executing any trades. Feel free to experiment with the settings if you're uncertain to find your optimal configuration. Speaking of which, if you've watched our previous video, you'll know that I reviewed another great AI tool from Capissimo. You can access it along with a complete strategy here right now.